Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers, The Widowmakers. Last time we had the left off, we were ambushed by 22 nomads in the glistening flats on our caravan mission up to the, the north. Uh, we do have some things to take care of before we continue our journey. And first up is four level ups and some kind of injuries that we can figure out who to, you know, we'll pull some people out probably. First up is Sigmar, our hybrid. And I think for him, well, let's go for, go over this first. I did not take a look at this, but we're going to, obviously we're going for the plus three and plus four here. It's going to make them more useful in both instances. 60 range skill with throwing weapons is going to be pretty great, actually. Um, his defenses could could be increased. I guess we could go a little bit with in, uh, the increase in range defense. Could help. I'd really like to see some resolve with him. But I think I'm going to go for some hit points. That way, you know, when he is in melee... He's a bit more tankier. So well, I think we'll go for this. I'd like to see some more fatigue and more resolve for him. But for now, let's let's go for the hit points. And in order to get more fatigue for him, what we can do is take a perk, bags and belts, and this will allow him to carry another weapon and maybe some more throwing or or maybe just like these two but I, I think i'm gonna go for bags and belts i was thinking backstabber could be helpful for him for when he is in melee but i really want to focus him on more of a throwing character a throwing brother and back up as melee when he's either used up all of his ammunition or in the instance where I just need, if he's surrounded and I can't get him out of there, so I I can just give him a weapon. So I'm going to give him back some belts, and this will allow him to carry more one-handed weapons. And one other weapon I was thinking, because now, you know, when he switches to the weapon, this isn't impacting his fatigue. So we could give him a more... Uh, meteor sword it's not going to impact his his fatigue in the same way so we can get rid of that cool falchion that's that's a pretty nasty um, weapon we can give him a better weapon one that's going to continue giving him some uh, an increase hit chance I mean I could give him you know like a spear, but in the middle, I don't think it's as important. Though, I can still, you know, keep that as an option, right? I could also... What would be another good weapon for him? I don't think something like a three-headed flail or a flail in general would be a good... Well, a flail might be a good option for him, actually, now that I think about it. But not the three-headed flail, so maybe what we can do is, for now, he can keep... Hmm, I really don't know if keeping a boar spear on him is necessarily a good idea. I could give him the axe... And that way, if we need to chop a shield, we have somebody that can. Um, hmm. I'm not thinking in the way of like a mace, an extra mace. Although that could be nice. That would be really cool too, but... I think I'll keep it like this for now. And maybe give him an extra set of throwing weapons. Or 
If we get a flail, then maybe I'll give him the flail instead. All right. So Sigmar hybrid. He's going to be more more of a hybrid in general, like my kind of quartermaster build. But he's going to be more of a, well. I can get rid of hybrid now. I think I think I see that. So he'll be hybrid in more than one way, you know, melee and throwing weapons, and he'll also have different kinds of melee weapons. So, and now I can give him some sturdier armor as well. But for now, let's give him a different helmet because, well, this one's completely useless at the moment, but I'll, I'll keep it, maybe I'll keep it as a backup but probably not, now that I have a few of these other southern the Nomad reinforced helmets, so. Alright, next up is Dietmar. And Dietmar, I think I was going to go with Backstabber. Well, we got the plus three there. We do have a plus three here, too. It would be nice to bring Dietmar to the front line. Let's let's continue building him for that because I I'm getting those rolls and it's early on and I think no matter what giving him backstabber is going to be helpful and he's he's going to be he's going to have some like a, a pretty decent melee skill in general So, yeah, let's go with Backstabber. Since he, for now, since he has the pike, we want to make his hits consistent. He, we want him to be hitting. He only has one attack per turn, so we really want that hit to, to matter. So, yeah, I think Backstabber is going to be good. We might want to do something like this, then, so that he has a better chance of having three of his brothers around him, around an, a target. Yeah, okay. Alvar, well, Alvar is going to be sitting out for a moment because he's he's really beat up. He has um, pierced arm muscles, so he's going to be kind of, well, less useful. I mean, the banner is going to be helpful, but... I think it's better for him to sit out until he has healed. We're going to go with Rally the Troops because that is our ambition. I need somebody to get rid of that ambition. So, I will I mean, he was going to be... Oh, here we go. A plus three. That's great. I'll continue with the resolve. And I think I'd rather go for the range defense than the three fatigue. I'd really like to be seeing some fours here because we need to get him a bit higher than that. I, I, ideally, he's he's 80 or more so that we can use this in more than one turn or like in consecutive turns to rally the troops. Um, well, that said, I should probably be putting more there. So I'll take that instead of the range defense. He's going to be sitting out, and I would like to bring Canute back in instead, but Kale, being that he's low level, I'll, I'll bring him in instead for now. What I could do, actually, is this until Deepmar has healed. I don't know why, but I'd like Deepmar to be to be leveling up as well. Um, we'll do this just, just for now, in case something else comes up. Espen the Proud... Espen's in this situation now. Plus three, plus three, plus five. I'm getting lucky with these from time to time, so. Espen's in a situation where I almost want to give him Mace Mastery 
so that he continues with the pole maze, but we can use him in more aggressive situations. Now, at the moment, is that what I want to do with him? Because I, I want him to be in aggressive situations with dodge, right? At the moment, he has close to 30 melee defense with dodge at the beginning, of course. But if I if I switch out, let's just say this, you know, that's, that's a, a couple more. He would probably be at 30 melee defense. That's not great, but... It's, it's something that I can use um, as like a duelist. And I think it's probably going to be better if he is a duelist. And this would be like the ideal setup for now when we take on uh, Nimble, which will be very soon. Once he has Nimble, then I'll I'll be more okay with him going up and being aggressive. But I don't think that he's going to be necessarily aggressive with the you know a pole mace, right? And I was thinking, okay, later on he can just carry a two-handed mace, but that's going to destroy his initiative. Because the two-handed mace probably weighs even more than the pole mace. It probably it weighs probably the same amount, if not more. So I think I'm going to go for underdog so that I can be more aggressive with him later. Um, yeah. And I would probably put him... I mean, I wouldn't switch these two, but I would probably have him here instead of on the flank. Because... Well... Partly because of the backstabber, but partly because I don't want someone out here to have it. I think in my last playthrough as the, the People's Militia, I did something like this. And it worked out pretty well because now it, we're adding, you know, excuse me, 15 on top of the 15 that we're gaining from the shield. So this helps out quite a bit. Make a, a light brother with high initiative and and give him a shield still. And that worked out pretty well. It does mean he has to carry a sword because, um, because they're the lighter weapon in general. Is this better? No, it's not. And then from time to time, you know, we can just drop the shield and he can go two-handed uh, like a you know double grip with a one-handed weapon and that does increase his fatigue which helps out with initiative right okay so i think for now he's going to stay on the back with that pole mace all right but I do want to be a bit more aggressive with him later. I'll keep this set up actually for now because I, I do want him to be at that. So it gives me a better idea of how much initiative he has. And yeah, but this does take 30 fatigue for knockover to work. So I'd rather give him... Like, if we did give him this, then slash slash would be 20 fatigue. All right. For now, we don't have to worry too much about his initiative. At least we can, we, we can be a little more aggressive with him because of underdog. And I'm going to keep him with the pole mace. Though in the future, I could do something like this. Just give him a, a pretty light weapon that he's going to hit fairly frequently with. And he'd have a lot of melee defense. So anyway, that's been the proud. I probably focus too much on my light builds than I do with my tanky builds because I, I feel like I can still... I can make a couple mistakes with... Uh, heavy, you know, battle forged type of brothers. 
but there's less and it doesn't impact them when I make a mistake or two. But if I make a mistake or two in the way I'm building a lighter, like duelist nimble type of brother, then it, that impact is is more substantial. So, so I, I think more about this, even though I use more of the other kinds. But Frizzo, for instance, is another one of those uh, brothers that I'm talking about. He has, due to his low fatigue, I need to keep him in some lighter, kind of medium armor. So I have to be a bit more careful and strategic with him in the battle. All right. That's enough here. And I just kind of hope that we don't have to deal with much along the way, but... There we go. Good. We got the Sergeant Sash. That's going to go right on to... Um, Alvar. I think, actually, if because it says Bannerman, he doesn't get the title. He doesn't get a new title, which is kind of, in a way, sad. Because I'd rather him just take on the title. So, Alvar... Um, well, I'll put Sergeant Alvar. And he doesn't need a title. Do I have titles on anyone else? I, I put that there because that was just a good memory. True shot, hybrid. I can get rid of hybrid now. Um, he's on level 4. I know what he is at this point. So, But I really like the Proud, for instance. They come in with... Uh, they get that from an event. So I like giving titles because of events, basically. All right, let's get moving. I know I, I had a problem at the end of the last episode, and if you didn't see the last episode, and you feel like you're missing something, it's because I, I made an extra episode over the weekend. So definitely go check that one out if you missed something here. But at the end of the last episode, there was like a, a weird bug that happened, but it was just a, a tiny bug. That was it. Nothing really happened because of that. I just saved it thoroughly and then um, reloaded it and it was it was working fine after. So, what well, we have the money that we could actually do this now, so we I might be interested in that. But I know this one we've already reached it, so let's just get it out of the way. Yeah, we're reputable. So, we're way, way past it. Let's just take a look. Cartographer might be a good one. I like taking a guitar cartographer because it kind of pays us to be exploratory. But, let's see here. Lookout. Cartographer. And... Oh, the scout. I haven't even done the scout. I, I love those as the first three, but I don't want to do that all the time. But basically, it allows you to walk faster, walk faster on the map, with a wider radius of sight, and you're getting paid to, to be out in the wild. So... All three of these basically pay for themselves eventually. But I think, I was thinking of Quartermaster Recruit. Makes between two and four additional men available to recruit in every settlement. And it's 10% less upfront for hiring new men. I'm thinking this one because I want more, I want like more availability in potential hires and making them cheaper is also really nice so when we do finally i hope get a hedge knight or sword master or something like that later that they're cheaper 10 percent is 
is pretty decent when they're when you're paying like five thousand. You know, you save eight uh, five hundred. But the problem is, I don't want to spend three thousand right now. So let's let's hold off on this and. I think the recruiter might be the first one that I take. I have to make it worthwhile. So when I do take this, I have to understand or force myself to um, hire at least saving 3,000 crowns. So more than 3,000, ideally way more than 3,000 so that it actually pays for itself. But we'll skip it for now. Oh, I just did that. Good, so that's all done. And before I forget, because I I obviously already did, let's throw that sash there. So he's up to 87 now. Pretty decent. And on our way through, good. I just wanted to see if there were some contracts... There are. Uh, I'm going to let this go on its own. And we're not interested in any of that. Okay, how much did I pay? 481. And these are expensive. Um, well, okay. We'll just uh, we'll keep going. Lots of thugs, poachers, and marksmen. Does that say 15 or 19? 15. Well, if we come back through here, we'll, we'll go searching for them. And I definitely want to stop here in Elwenberg because... I want to make sure we can find... I think that's the place... This, this place has the better chance of finding some higher-tiered... Uh, uh, brothers. Goblins. Oh, okay. Well, we only have one of those. And this one means we need to go out into the wild and start hunting down some famed weapons. The hard part here is to get a weapon, a shield, an armor. Oh, I have at least one famed. Oh, okay. You know, I was going to say, there. I think there's one where you need one of each. And that one's really difficult to get. Let's, let's take this. Let's take it. Wonderful. And they have some contracts as well. Well, terrifying nightmares, disappearing villages, this is going to be completely cutting off the, the whole purpose of Yeah, so they don't they don't want any business with us. And I I understand. I have some problems over here, so let's just get out of here. Maybe. For you to stay the night. I'm not doing this. That ended my last campaign. And I know that was my... Uh, that was a different... What was it? That was with Legends. And I want to say that the Beasts and Legends are different. But I'm not entirely sure. And maybe they, they didn't change them. But um, I hate Alps. And I pretty much will stay away from them for forever. <laughs> Uh, what hunts, or terrorizes Goldstein? 
it's well it's either webnets not zers or um dire wolves and i could do any one of those as long as we're full health and we are okay let's check out this other one first Yeah, this is one I... Okay, well, patrolling the road is okay because we... Up to 35 heads? That's, uh... That's no joke. So I, I think this one's actually not too bad. We just have to make sure to get 35. Because we could get well over 2,000 for that. Um, I just did the quick calculator. Um, so this one wouldn't be bad either. And those... Those guys over there that we just passed would be 15 immediately, and then we just have to figure out another 20. So this one's not too bad. Owenberg, Dunkelvach. I'm actually just going to take this. I don't usually take these because... Well, I don't usually take the ones that make you go... Like, go over here and look for beasts. Because you can get over there and sure, there's probably some chances of finding them. I think they increase the chances of, of spawning. Um, and yeah, I just have to go up to here and then come back. So I could make this really quick, just go over there. So let's, let's go hunt those down, but we'll stop at Owenberg first. Mostly because I want to, to see if they have anything to hire. safe roads and I don't know if that does if or what that would do but and they yeah they still don't have much here the deserter Erland is really cheap but I don't really want more militia And the gear here is somewhat expensive at 26%. Do they want to purchase this? 18? I mean, they're, they're okay, but I might go up to a Citadel. Oh, wow. Okay. What I could do is just purchase armor or weapon or something. And that would get rid of that ambition. Sadly, I can't afford them. <laughs> um, yeah. That's too bad. Well, actually, I can sell some gear here, because 18% is not, not too bad. So we'll do that. So, that can go, that can go. So we have these two, and we do have a Sipar shield that I can get onto somebody now. I'll drop another one of these. And I could sell these here, but I, I am going to wait. Let's grab one of those, though. Actually, they have some pretty good, like, decent things here. They do have the military cleaver available. I really want the uh, the price to be lowered a tad before I do that. Crossbow would be nice. Does he actually have? He doesn't. So I think I'm going to do that. I don't usually spend money on weapons because we'll just get them along the way. Um, I'm okay spending money on armor because it helps out. I like to be more defensive than offensive. But... seems pretty cheap right and that's gonna go that's gonna help out a lot so let's do that now I have a, a second light bow or yeah light crossbow I think I'm just gonna be I'm gonna keep it for now I don't think I'm gonna drop it yet that might that might come in handy someday someday soon 
I don't really want to carry it forever, but... Alright. Let's hunt. Good. There they are. Now stay on the road until I get closer. So something else is down here. A few marksmen. A few poachers. And then lots of thugs. Alright, there's 15. I mean, we're going to chew right through these guys. Look at all those. There's barely anything protecting their heads. But because of the guys behind them, they probably are going to charge. Uh, we have four guys. I... No, they're not. So that means they probably have... Well, let's wait. Yeah, they, they're being a little cautious. Which is fine. I get it. Uh, wait with you, though. Okay. So we're going to go three and then wait. Oops, that's not three. I think that's the one. Too cautious there. And I might just take another step forward. Well, let's toss one. There we go, nice. And actually, let's do that. Because now that's pretty much going to make them... I think when you when you engage, it kind of forces or clicks something into the heads of the AI. Wait. There we go. I was worried about this one guy. So there's four of them. Now they're still not charging. It's kind of smart, I guess. Well, I guess we're going to end our turn now. I don't think I can reach. No. Let's just end our turns. Wait. Okay. Looks like they're coming for us now. Let's go for him. That's good, but I'd like to be I'd like for him to be dead instead of taking another shot. Um just just wait. Yeah, here they come. Nineteen turns. Oh man. Nice shot, man. Let's go up to here as I think they're all done. Oh. Come on now. Uh, swing. Ah! At least one went down. Ah! Oh! Forgot about you. Let's go for that head. Missed all of them. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, their morale is pretty low here. I will take a step up. Ah. A little indecisive there, I guess. Actually, let's... Let's kind of swing around here. Get Zahiri kind of behind them so they can't go anywhere. It's a little dangerous to do that, but I think it was worth it. Move up here and switch. I don't really need the. Uh, I guess I should have seen that coming. So, nah, I'm not gonna go for the head now. There we go. See, you need to do that way earlier. <laughs> he still doesn't want to come back. That's fine. More ammunition, please. Good. Great. One, two, three, four level ups. That's awesome. Uh, almost, almost flawless victory. Just a couple small hits. Nothing too much to worry about. And. <laughs> Why? Wait, okay, so that's interesting. I thought he had, like, the normal crossbow. But I just bought one, and of course we got one. Of course. Let's see, let's see what's going on down here. Probably not much. It looks like they just took on some... Uh, Uh, goblins or something like that. We want to we want to deal with that, but we don't want to deal with them with stop. I didn't want to take them on with um, with the help. All right, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, nice. They took high ground on... And they're not charging again. Uh, this time... Well... Yeah. Let's go there. Ooh. You're pretty much the only one I really need to worry about. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to wait. The problem here is this guy is going to go... And he could jump up here and then hit and have pretty good chances of doing that. Two, three, four. But if I go here, then we should be fine. You really... Deedhelm, I'd love for you to get up there. So maybe I should have put him here. I don't... I think that would have been a good idea. But I'm going to go right for that guy's head, so... Um, just end your turn. 
I could go with Bertram up here. He could go for that, but I think Bertram's good enough, so let's do that. I mean, I, I needed to go for it, so. Um, let's send you up here. And let's do this. Again, you gotta take those. Yeah, okay. I thought I had a good chance. The, the problem is they have all of this... They're junk poachers, but that's why they're staying back here. And I love that they keep making more space, too. Strange. I really thought he'd jump up here. That was probably a mistake. Um, I'm going to rotate, actually. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Um, wait. Wait. There you go. Yeah. Pretty bad chance too, but he, he got it. I'm interested. Well, I guess he can't move, right? So let's let's do that. Oh, look at that! I think he's gonna realize that was a mistake, but nine percent, and there's probably really low chances to even hit there. So, um. I think what I should do is I'm going to switch to the axe and just have a move up. Let's go for that shield. Well, we can try it. Let's go for it. He misses. Ah. There we go. That's for you. Move up, but not all the way yet. Oh, that's when taking mace mastery is like important. But we'll take a step. Ah, eh, there you go. miss <laughs> there we go the one guy that I was worried about is gone so uh, I mean yeah we're gonna switch okay Not too worried about that. All right. Uh, nope. We want to swing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
wait there for a moment. Good, finally. There's some tricky stuff going on there. There. Super. I mean, I gave you the axe because I wanted you to do some damage, but I can see that's not going to happen. There. You think that was a good idea now? shot. Wait. And he's stuck around. Strange. Let's go here and we'll go for this head. All three of them. There we go. I forgot about the level ups, but we did pick up another for Knut. Gonna have to bring Knut back out again so that we can get experience on really the guys that matter. Did pick up another pike. And that's pretty much it. We'll we'll make a bit more money off of this, so let's take it and leave. So we're up to twenty-four, so we only need eleven more heads. For this to work. And I think since I'm moving up to Dunkelvok, I'm just gonna go to Ulumfeste anyway. Ah. But before we go, let's switch uh Dietmar back in and also the sergeant. But I think I'm gonna switch these guys around for now at least. Okay. Let's go through the motions here. Frizzo up first with a plus three and a plus three and a uh, resolve, I think. That'll finally get him over 40. That's a good place to be for him. I think I want to go for Mace Mastery with him. Um, underdog might be a good thing because he's going to have lower chance or uh, lower armor, medium armor, lighter armor. That's what I was looking for. We could go for backstabber as well, but his his melee skills already. Let's make him a mace. Let's just get this over with there. So Frizzo is a mace master now. I think that's a good place for him to stay. Baldemar, he's already taken the crossbow mastery. Honestly, these weapons needed to go a long time ago. I think it'd be better for him to take on like a like a really light sword. If he needs it, he's got it. I don't think giving him a um, a pull arm is necessarily a, a good idea at this time. So plus four, plus four, and I think just sticking with um, initiative. Or it's plus three in fatigue. Uh, 
I don't know about that. More fatigue would be nice. Then I can give them some heavier armor. But let's give him let's just give him the more um initiative. I could go with dodge now, since he has quite a bit of initiative anyway. No, here we go, bullseye. I think it's about time to give him bullseye. There we go. He has pretty good hit chance, plus the 15% chance to hit for shooting the bolt. Uh, bullseye is going to allow him to be picky with his target, so if he wants to shoot over somebody that are that's like three tiles away, then, then he'll have a better chance of hitting, of choosing that target. Not hitting it, but choosing that target. Kale. Ah. I mean, still gotta go for it. I, I don't think I can really afford to miss many of those, so... Plus two is the low roll, but we really need to take it. And I think he's rolled plus two a couple times, so... We're gonna go for that resolve. And I think I want to give him, I, I was, I, I remember talking about this before. I was suggesting I didn't really need range defense or hit points. Because he's likely not to be in range of enemies very frequently. So, but I don't really see another, another thing for him. Honestly, I mean, I could give him some more initiative. And then I... And that was kind of the reason why I didn't want to go with dodge, was because he's not really going to be in the in the line of fire very frequently. So this is a tough one. I'm not sure... I mean, more fatigue might be cool. I guess I'll... I'll go for hit points. Well, I'll go for the, the initiative. That way, I mean, it just allows him to shoot earlier anyway, so. Um, he has a spear just in case. I'm all right with that. Anticipation. Mm, bullseye would be cool. Relentless would be nice actually because then that means later in the in the battle he's going to keep the initiative so we can use him to be to be firing off arrows at the beginning of every round. Um I'm wondering if we we do have enough. I almost want to give him maybe bags and belts as well. Or quick hands. So that he can fire fire when he runs out of ammunition, he can um you know switch out the new quiver, fire fire fire. Let's go with quick hands. Yeah. Alright, Einar. Uh plus two plus four. And he already has quick hands. I guess I could go for the range defense. And I'm going to give him throwing mastery as well. Okay. Knut, the exhausted, plus three. Um, <laughs> not many options here, buddy. I'll take the plus three in range defense, I guess. This is pretty rough. And maybe the hit points or the fatigue. 
hit points. And you're just straight up going to be a pole master, or, um, <laughs> pole master, uh, pole arm user for the rest of the, the game. As long as you're here, you're with a pole arm. All right. All right. Where are we? Right down there. So let's head up to Dunkelvok. And then we'll continue on through. Maybe we'll find somebody. Oh. What's this? Ah, you pain. What are they doing over there? They must be chasing something. But I didn't see their footprints either, so. All right. Well, there's no contract. Prices are pretty rough here, so I won't be selling anything. Uh, we could buy some ammunition. I think that's worth buying a couple stacks. And nothing really to look at there. Let's let's head up to Ulanfeste. I want to see if they have potential hires here. We can sell maybe a lot of things while we're in this area. Still no contract, so they do have a training hall, so we might. I might be doing that from, uh, man. So the prices where we were were better. So 481 for incense, not necessarily a good number for, for buying, that is. Uh, it would be, I mean, I could sell it, of course, and make the money back. But. But I don't think 41 is going to get us too far. I might just keep it. And. Yeah, I might just keep it. And basically wait until we find a place. Because I, I, I'm i pretty sure this can sell for over 600. If we find the place has like. Th th they need incense. Um, all right. Well, I'm not going to sell any of this here because I know we can sell it for more, for, for better. We have the money. I guess we don't really have the space, so I'll sell off some of this lower junk. And that way, when we leave, you know, I think we'll have enough food. Uh, when we go down there... Did I actually look at this? I don't know. I didn't. This was kind of the reason I came up here. So they have a sword master. But. I'm not a big fan of sword masters. And that's not really the kind of brother I'm looking to hire at the moment. So. I don't think I went here. We might check that out. I, I'm looking for more heads. I don't think I want to go here because that's probably... that's uh, That could be some pretty nasty enemies in there. Necrosavants and the such. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'll still go this way and maybe hunt a little bit. But if I do that... I need some, I need some, uh, food. Might as well just sell that off so I don't get confused later. But let's, yeah, let's go around this way.
Okay. Well, we'll take that. It's 10. That will put us up to 34. That's good enough. Uh, what I was just I'm wondering, actually, I was just thinking about this, and I saw it now. When you're climbing a mountain, you're consuming more provisions than you are in hill, and I assume you're consuming more or less on the plains as well. So it says 30 right here. Now it says 27. So I think in in uh, Legends, they show it. They show how much food per person they're consuming. Here, they don't show it. I mean, that it shows, but it doesn't show how many, how much food each person is consuming. Uh, which is interesting. I've, I've never actually thought about it or knew that. But, yeah, let's take these guys on. Just make sure real quick, this is what I want. Kale instead. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably fine. We do want to fix some of this gear real quick, so let me go through this. And we have this Sipar shield. Do we have anybody that we want to give that to? We could give it to Zahiri, but I really I want to see some heavier armor on him, honestly. Beat Helm, but I like having extra for that three-headed flail. So until then, you're carrying this, and then once you once Zahiri, when we get some extra armor, maybe we'll we'll just throw it on him and remove that shield but for now it's good let's go i didn't see was that two or just one i don't know uh 40 percent we'll take it Really, guys, come on now. And, and I guess just end the turn here. Hmm. I'm going over. I'm going well over. And I'm okay with that. So we're, I'm just going to be... I'm going to make these episodes maybe a little bit longer. You can let me know what you think about that. Um, obviously you can watch, you don't have to watch the entire episode all at once, but, uh, this way the, um, is it? Yeah, there's three of them. This way I don't really, the, the longer episodes for Gloomhaven take, you know, they take quite a bit of time. So making these a bit longer doesn't really hurt my, hurt my nights as much. Uh, but basically, the nights that I record Battle Brothers are pretty short, so like it doesn't take a lot of time, so I don't really need... Uh, I can make these episodes longer, since I'm taking long amount of time for Gloomhaven, I can make these episodes a bit longer, to, to kind of even out, I think is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, just wait, or end your turn. And I think what I'm going to do is just trap these guys there. So Zahiri and Gurlock, we can just stand right here and take care of everything. Then they'll have to move around this way or that way, and it'll take them a little bit longer. Wait. And as for you, yeah, jump right in there.
And there we go. All right. Pretty straightforward battle. <laughs> straightforward. Uh, pretty easy battle. A few more level ups. We're, we're doing pretty good here, actually. Leveling up like crazy. Uh, mostly useless stuff from that, but we'll take it. That brings us pretty close to our goal. I'm wondering if I should just fight this battle now. Uh, let's level up our friends. Well, we, since he's more of a tank than anything, Gurlock. Ah, right. I forgot one thing. So we'll we'll end with that. We'll take the plus four. That's awesome. And uh, I'll take the plus two in melee defense. I'm gonna give him the hit points. He doesn't need to hit. It's nice that he does, if he does, but he doesn't really need to. And I think Spear, or, um, Spear Mastery would probably be what he gets if I give him a Mastery at all. But Underdog, since he's on that corner, that's going to help out. Zahiri. Zahiri's probably going to be carrying a sword the entirety of the campaign but hmm he's at level five with 17 already which is pretty good but i don't know if that means i want to give him melee defense every time i mean i i think i do right but Or do I want to go for... I mean, the fatigue, I think, is something we need to go for. That's one. The resolve would be better if I could get some fours. And I might be saying this every time, so I'm hoping that he rolls a four someday. Um, and then that would also be nice to gain some fours. So I think I'm going to into melee defense until he rolls fours for hit points and resolve. Hmm. As I was saying that sword mastery might be the way that we go for Zahiri. Um, executioner might be something we're interested in standing next to Frizzo and having Valdemar on our side. So executioner would help out extra damage if they're if they're injured. And I don't really I don't normally take it. And it might be something I want to do. If he's gonna be carrying a sword the whole time. Uh, the problem is that some enemies don't get injured. So people tend to say, like, oh, executioner's not that good, but generally most most enemies get injured. Rotation is also something I like. I, I, I put them on most of my frontliners. Shield expert. If he's going to be carrying a shield the whole time, but... Having 19 melee defense at level 5. If we can get him up close to 30, at least 30, then we might just drop the shield altogether. Uh, so I don't want to give him a master yet, either. Let's actually just take Executioner. I don't use it very often, and this might be a good time to use it. Since we have Valdemar behind him. Well, somewhat behind him. Then, um... By the time the enemies are getting closer to us, if they're already injured, 
then dealing extra damage with uh, with the sword for now is actually pretty good. And actually with Gash, Gash reduces that threshold to inflict injuries. So this might not be a good, or it might not be a bad combination, right? Okay. Oops. One more. Bertram. Well, we'll take the plus three. And I think I can't really skip many with him. So we'll take the plus two. I think I will skip out. Actually, let's give him some extra range defense. Getting him up to close close to 10 is a good space to be for, for range defense. And I wonder if Backstabber helps out Repost. I've never actually... That's something I haven't thought about. That would be good to know. You're sitting at 15. Rotation might be a good one for him. We have fast adaptation and backstabber. Oops. So it might be a good thing. I mean, he's he's going to be swinging and hitting pretty frequently. And if he misses, his next shot's probably going to be hitting. So what would be a good thing for him to be hitting with? Do we want him to carry a sword the whole time? Because he really could carry a... Yeah, and he does have that. Hmm. This is a good question for him. Bertram could be the... Was this the one I was thinking about, Bertram, for the cleaver? Or was I thinking about somebody else? I might have been thinking about Frizzo, but... Well, let's skip out on that for now. I think recover is probably going to be something useful anyway. I could also give him Colossus, but I think at 70 he has enough. And because I gave him Brawny, I'm thinking Battleforged would be the way to go, but I don't really know if he's ever going to make it that far. This is tough. This is tough. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with him. And in that case, I'll probably give him Rotation or Recover. Because those two are, are ones that I like to take pretty frequently. Or underdog. Underdog. Okay. Okay. Well. Mossy Ruins? Or just head back. Pick up the money. I assume... Uh, those guys came out of here. I mean, we're in pretty good shape, aren't we? Alright. Let's check it out. Twenty-one. I know there are zombies. And maybe geists. But it looks like no ne uh, necromancer. So let's let's just see what they what they come up with. Here's chest for Igor. Well there's one fallen hero. He's got an axe, which I don't like. Um, I 
Well, let's go for it. I do have Espen to kind of help out. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. If we can stun him a couple times, then we won't have to worry too much. But I'm afraid of Igor being that target, so we might have to kind of rotate out. And I think the things that I'm hearing are... Yeah, I don't think those are geists. I'll just end our turn there. There, now we don't have to worry about you. So let's actually, let's do this. Good. I like seeing those guys. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's wait. Let's just wait with everyone. Noxers. Four Noxers. Wait. Nice. That was nice of you. Uh, wait. Oh. Yeah, not so nice anymore. Okay, well let's uh, let's switch to the axe. We'll have pretty good hit chances, it looks like. I'm afraid of this shadow. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Because if that was another. If that was another fallen hero, that could be pretty rough, but... And they're all tier 1, so that's good. I guess it doesn't matter which one. I was looking at their weapons and then I realized that's the same weapon. There we go. We're doing pretty well now. I'm gonna wait to see one, two, three, four. I yeah. One, two, three, four. Four. I think I'm gonna oh go for the stun there first and I missed it because I I want to be helpful but I don't want to like back up and then he just goes here and then I can't hit him and like move up and hit so oh there we go Wait, wait. Ah, uh, I was hoping to kill him. If we keep up those our confidence, we'll do really well. I guess I didn't have the fatigue to do a, a split. He's hitting so far, so that's good. Just wait. Okay, perfect. Actually, that's great. This is not good. Okay, I can do that. Now one of these... Mm. Okay. Strange. That's really strange. I was... 
I think it would have been better for it to go here. It could have eaten and then... Well, I'm not going to complain, I guess. I can move up and... That was not a good chance, but I'm glad it hit. Uh, let's try to do as much damage to that. That's too bad. There. I don't have to worry about that one either. So should I switch to the scimitar? What are my chances? 76. Because this is probably going to do more damage. But it's going to use a lot more am uh, ammunition. Um, what's it called? S uh, stamina. Fatigue. Okay. Killing that. I mean, I could hit any one of these and we're probably going to kill all of them. So I'm going to wait, actually, with Valdemar. We need to hit this again. Nice. That's been... You're making me proud, Espen. Okay. Let's go for probably the outer guy here. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. I was hoping to kill him. Maybe I should be going for someone else instead, but... There we go. Two hits on him, finally. These guys are just going to be pain. Oof. Okay, good. Uh, that's that's kind of the more worrisome guy there. I have some really have easy chances over there. Eighty six percent or something like that. Good hit. Man. Good. And uh, let's actually switch. <laughs> and I'm out of I mean, or, uh, stamina again. Fatigue is what it's actually called. Ooh, that's bad. Well, I can't go for that shot again, so I'm just going to go for a normal, and he missed. That's okay, he, he hit the more important ones. I might want to, to move over. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait with you, too. Oh, he picked up a weapon. <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot of choices here, so let's just go for it. Only 50%, but... One of these days you get a hit, right? Kidding me. 
They were down this whole time and they decided, okay, let's all get up now. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, step into there. I think it's better to, to go for the kill, I think. Headshot. Wonderful. Okay. Move over there to help out there. Uh, switch it up and... <laughs> it's 58? Okay, good. That's an issue. And he cut his head off. That's awesome. It doesn't mean much, but... It does mean I get to move around a little bit more. Alright, oh, okay, so you're, you're up again. Let's switch up. I'll move up to here now. He's getting back up. But he's dead already. Sweet. Move up there, buddy. Too many hopes for something being here it would be pretty wonderful uh, something shiny that is Igor with a level up and I'm feeling more and more confident each of these heavier battles brings a bit more confidence I don't want to be too confident because bad things happen with confidence and uh, well I'll take the ancient gold coins, the gemstones, and file brains. But that is now going to finally bring us to the end of this episode. I, again, it's only about 30 minutes, but that's 50% increase in length of time. So if you are okay with this, or if you're happy about it, please let me know in the comments section. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, you can also leave a like. We brought a bunch of crowns back here. It's unfortunate that they don't like us much because Disappearing Villages is still a thing. And selling prices are still pretty bad. But with... Ooh, yeah. With that, thanks for stopping by. And I hope to see you next time.